Hello, my name is Marlena Mucciaroni and I teach high school biology. Our school currently uses Google Classroom and Google Meet. If you're a teacher who's using Google Meet and you want to share a PowerPoint during the Meet to teach your kids or to review something with your kids, I'm going to show you how you could use your PowerPoint with all of its animations while still seeing and viewing all your students on the Meet at the same time. To do that, you need to install a Google extension called Google Meet Grid View Fix. When you install this extension, it allows you to see all your students on one page of the Google Meet at the same time. I think currently it's only 16 that Google Meet allows on one screen, but this allows everybody on the same screen. The squares keep on getting smaller and smaller and smaller, but at least you could see everybody on one screen, and that's really convenient. Once you have that installed and you start your Google Meet, some little pop-ups will come up. You could X out of them. This one's for an ex uh, attendance extension that we're not going to talk about right now. But you're in your Google Meet. This little bar up here is going to show up. That's the extension that you just installed so you could see all your kids. Currently it is off because there's a line going through this grid. You need to click it so that disappears. That means you could see all your kids on this one screen no matter how many you have in your class. There's a few other preferences down here. For example, I like to include myself in the grid, and you probably want to highlight speakers. The box highlights around the person who's currently talking, so that's helpful as well. But those are all entirely individual preference. So once your meet's going and you're talking to your kids, and you're like, hey, I want to show you this PowerPoint that I have, you need to have that PowerPoint running in the background, like behind your Google Meet window. It's up, ready to go. And what you're going to do now is you're going to present. And you're going to present a window. And when you click that, that PowerPoint will be one of the choices. If your PowerPoint is minimized, it will not show here. So make sure it is maximized and just running behind your Google Meet window. When you're ready to go, click Share. And now they could see this window with my PowerPoint ready to play. And my kids are all back here. And one thing that you could do is because I'm clicking back and forth right now, that's not convenient. One thing I could do is resize my window. So I could drag my Google Meet window to be smaller and next to my PowerPoint. Now all their squares are here. They're getting smaller and smaller as you make the window smaller, but at least you could see them all. The PowerPoint's ready to go. I want to present my PowerPoint, but here's the problem. I start the presentation and now it only shows me the PowerPoint and I lose my Google Meet window. And if you don't see a problem with this, you're probably not a teacher. Not being able to see your students? Mm, I don't think so. So how do I get around this? I want to show them this. Well, you could keep it like this, and you could just like click through your PowerPoint slides. You lose all the animations, but and it's not ideal, but you could, I mean, you can do it that way. But I have a better way. On the PowerPoint, go to Slideshow, or Slideshow right here, either one. You click that click set up show you need to choose individual window for show type it's default to full screen click OK when you start your presentation it allows the presentation to only fit the window of your size so now it's ready to go and I have my Google Meet window over here with all my kids so I could see everything at the same time on my screen and when you start your presentation well you have to click on the power that side of the PowerPoint, but when you start it, you can see that I have the animations and they're currently working. Well, I hope this was helpful. It's not perfect, but it gets the job done. Thanks. Bye.